Usually we have something to read or watch, but this time we have something to listen to. So I had to dig a ways to find this. Who here has gotten a weird phone call every now and again? Sure. Just out of the blue. Just every now and again, you get like a call you weren't expecting to get. Wrong number, telemarketer, uh, someone you haven't heard from in a while. Um, This is none of those things. Okay. Instead, we're going to be... Um, hello. Oh, surprise me. That's some important news. We're going to be listening to... You're gay. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> we're going to be listening to Mike's voicemails. So we're on SoundCloud here. Lundy, I do need you to read this little paragraph. Uh, okay. You know what? I could read it. It's not that much, and I do need the practice, obviously. Yeah, go ahead, man. When I gave, when I began my job, my new job in August 2014, I started getting strange messages from a na- man named Mike. Usually, the the messages were pretty harmless. Sometimes sad, sometimes hilarious. A few of them are highly inappropriate and terrifying. I hope you enjoy these as much as I did. And I kind of want to end on that note because it kind of undersells the like terrifying nature of some of these. So. <laughs> What do you expect to hear in this, if you had to? Uh, someone going through a schizophrenic episode. Yeah, probably that little bit of racism. Trauma dumping. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to request that everybody look away from the screen for a second while I go. Because I, I want the best bits to be seen immediately. Maybe also mentally retarded. Go all the way down. These are a long time ago, by the way. This is nine years ago. Okay, yeah, I think this is the first one. The first official one. We'll wait for one to get back here. Matt, do you want to read this? Give me one second. Just need to take a sip. Took a hit. Coughed a little bit. Ah. All right. He's having a baby, and it fucking hurts. Okay, I don't like where this is going now. This is one of the several messages I've received on my work voicemail from a man named Mike. I have no idea who he is or how he got my work number. Now, he has prank calls listed here. Um, I will tell you from listening to how Mike talks, I don't think that he was in on anything. If it is labeled as such, I'm going to go ahead I mean, and say this that. will be a prank. Like, we did this in high school. Like, you give. Like the retarded kid a fucking phone and you just let some fun happen. Potentially, yeah. Got to wait for one day to get back here. Hey, hey, hello, mister. Is, what do you want me to say? Oh, okay. Is uh, your fridge in the can? <sighs> Tell him go back to Mexico. Right. Ah, fuck. What? His tampon fell out. Headphones fell out. All right, so this is. I didn't know you could get a tampon headphone combination, Lundy. Cool. <laughs> he does have little baby pussy ears. All right, so oh, this little is little pussy ears. <laughs> That's Lundy's new nickname. I need him. I need to make that official. Everybody, go on the wiki. <laughs> yeah, the official go. Oh, little pussy ears. <laughs> You know what, I, I'm kind of tempted to just make a wikia for us now, and that be the only thing on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, Welcome to the Goat Ben Podcast Wiki. Lundy is also known as Old Little Pussy Ears. <laughs> yeah, like all no, the rest that's of the it. Episodes. That's the whole... The rest of our... So this is the first mic uh, voice message that was uploaded. Yeah. And uh, Matt's read he's, the He's having a baby, Lundy, and it hurts. Yes. Yeah. Only 40 seconds. Let's hear what Mike has to say. Three, two, one, go. Hey, I'm having a baby. I'm having a baby. I got all this pressure upon me. 
it's it's hurting, it's hurting, and I'm having a a baby, and I keep pushing, and they say push, and count to ten, and I I can't count to ten because my whole body, I'm having a fucking baby, <laughs> and it's really hurting a lot. Perfect. Uh, is, is it just me, or does he sound like um, a trans woman? No, I was yeah, more. That's where my yeah. mind went. I was like, "Oh, he has trans voice number five, subsection C." My mind went to he has Lundy's afflection to his voice, but it's Matt's pitch. It's like the this is the low fe- <laughs> Mike. <is> the- <laughs> Yeah, this, is why, this, this is our love child. Lady. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say he sounds like Jim Brewer's impression of his mother, but all right. <laughs> I direction to take it in. Uh, just... Okay, sorry. Up. Me and Lonnie came in, 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 in like some Tupperware once and put it in a microwave <laughs> to see if we could make X Men babies. And we did, but not in the way yeah. that we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> We made one of the bad mutants. <laughs> yeah. Speaking okay. of. And his mutant really, power is that he exists in all realities in, at once in his own head. Because <laughs> I know my, my love for the cape shit has died off since Marvel started going to shit and DC was never good in the first place. But for people who have not seen it, I highly recommend X-Men 97. It is my favorite Marvel thing since Okay, so this is the next one. There's no description for this, just the standard. Uh, this is at 7.50 p.m. on a Friday. Bum. And this is called Please Give Me a Chance. So, he doesn't add any others. So it's just the same, like, this is one of the several monsters. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Yep. yep. Well, there's a couple of them that I think he adds to it. but Yeah, but this is not one of them. <laughs> no. Okay, so this is Please Give Me a Chance. Okay, let's hear what Mike has to say. Three. Man, real quickly before you start, sorry, go, but man, this is an experiment in bullying people. We're finding new ways to do it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hi, it's Mike again. Listen, I'm serious. When I hit the lottery, which I'm going to hit very soon, I want to come to work for uh, KUOP. <laughs> FM, and I'll play all the jazz, all the blues, rock, hard rock, contemporary rock. I'll be the greatest music disc jockey for KULP. I would give anything in this world to play music on FM, KULP. Please give me a chance. That's all I'm asking. Please give me a chance. Give him a chance. Please I'm, give him a chance. I would, I, would, I would love to own a radio station and call it KTRT. KTRD. <laughs> you're listening to the TARD. KULP radio. Let's see if anything ever came from this. Just <laughs> a radio station hires a young well guy to play jazz. <laughs> God, okay, again, so- I would love to have a radio station and just like, and I know Napalm. This isn't nothing new. You would hi- you would literally want any business and just staff it with nothing but the mentally retarded. True, but listen to this guy. Imagine him being the fucking morning disc disc jockey. Okay, so this is this next one is called "I Have a Confession." Oh no. Uh-oh. What'd he do? Three. What old two, Mikey Roo do do? Three. I wanted my baby. Three, two, one, go. I have a confession. This is Mike Emmadeo. I have a confession. I'm afraid of the dark. Oh. I don't like the dark. It scares the shit out of me. <laughs> When it gets nighttime, it scares the holy hell out of me. I'm really scared of the dark. 
So what am I Man, supposed to do about I that? I hope if I ever have an adult retarded son, he mm -hmm. ends up just like Mike here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a delight. I... Oh, I'm having fun this episode. <laughs> I was scared of the dirt. You, can, you know how I'm te you can tell I'm having fun? I'm not even using the soundboard anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, like, I'm already fucking Andy. I've already fucking Woody that bitch. This is like Mike's my new fucking Buzz Lightyear. I don't want to play with you anymore. This one's this one's an interesting question not often thought of, but in this one, Mike asks, am I the elephant man? Probably not. This one's but, a little bit. You know, it, maybe he's got like reasons for thinking this. It's about two minutes. Old dick. Now, this one's about two minutes, so we can pause at any point here. If it, uh... Man, this guy's so retarded, they put a fucking helmet on the head of his dick. <laughs> One of those little football helmets he got out of a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. I'm sorry. I'm just imagine if that was someone's like, look, we have to keep the retarded from breeding, so let's put little helmets on the tips. <laughs> we can't get them to put on condoms, but we can't put them get them to put on helmets. On yeah, they know how a helmet works. Yeah. <laughs> they have to use it every day. <laughs> Okay, here's more of Mike. Am I the Elephant Man? Uh, this is a minute 59. If we need to pause at any point, someone in D.G.G. told me I should run for local office, and I was like, Have you never? You've listened to the podcast. <laughs> you, you know the thing. That would be one of my fucking platforms. It's like, okay, I don't give a shit about fiscal fucking whatever bullshit. Like, we need to get some helmets on these retard penises. <laughs> <laughs> Make America great again. God bless. Am I the elephant man? Three, two, one, go. Okay, hi, it's Mike. I want to do this real fast. Uh, Thanksgiving. We. Uh, I. I don't know how updated you are with me. I've been going through memories, and. Every Thanksgiving, we'd have great turkey, great gravy on the turkey, raviolis, um, just a great feed. And before that, we'd have such good or hors d'oeuvres. I mean, like abalone and sauce, everything. And then we'd have the wine at the table and booze, whatever. And then the pie would come mm -hmm. out. All this apple pie, chocolate pie, mincemeat pie. And I was in the backyard with this girl who, my uncle's daughter, she was stepdaughter from San Francisco, and she's cute. And I tried to kiss her in the backyard. <laughs> and she slapped me. <laughs> she, she slapped me and ran away. And, and this kid, she, she was a cute girl. She was like, tall. She was taller than me. And she slapped me. And uh, You can't kiss me, Mike. And these kids smoked pot when they were <laughs> eight years old. I mean, they, they, they were druggies from San Francisco. <laughs> what is it with me? I mean, am I the elephant man? I don't get it. I swear to God. <laughs> just look at what I'm sorry. Happened. I could have Made love to her in the garden. Okay, this is why these, these <laughs> retards need the helmet on their dick. He's trying to fuck his cousin. Yeah, he'd be too busy trying to claw off the fucking dick helmet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how he asks if he's ugly. Am I the elephant man? Proposing the question as to why. These kids are smoking pot at the age of. At the, you know, the age, you know, like eight. Uh, so why won't they fuck me? <laughs> it's so fucking weird. So I am, depending on how you look at this scale, I am either upgrading or downgrading him from mentally retarded to autistic. Okay. <laughs> Matt, 
Matt, I'm going to throw you a curveball. Ready? Okay, here we go. Next one. You know Choo Choo Train? <laughs> <laughs> That's just, that is just not okay. This is just like... You throw the fucking, like, 18-year-old who just did some drunk driving into the fucking hardcore rape wing of the prison. <laughs> just beautiful white boy with long blonde hair. Like, what the fuck are we supposed to do with this? Now, now let's, see, let's, see if you can, let's see if you can scale it a little better with this, Matt. Okay, here's You Know Choo Choo Train. Three... Go ahead. Uh, sorry, I from from the phrasing of how it is, I'm guessing he's uh, asking if they know what a choo choo train is, um, instead of his friend choo choo train. <laughs> you know choo choo train, right? <laughs> we met at the Christmas dinner last year. <laughs> God, choo choo train would be a baller ass nickname for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is choo choo train. He did a dime upstate armed robbery. I don't want to mess with him. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hi, good to hear you again. This is Joshua. What happened to you? Were you offline? Anyway, I got great news. I'm moving. I'm, I decided I'm going to move to Amtrak. I'm going to take the train. I'm going to ride the train back and forth across the country, across the United States to, in Canada. I'm going to just spend He's the rest of my life. I'm going to rent my room at Amtrak. <laughs> and you get to stop in every town, every city. Uh, it's it's a great I'm so fortunate for this. And But you were offline. Um, want to play a game? No, <laughs> that was War Games. Mike! <laughs> what? <laughs> no. But I am. I decided... That would be so awesome. I'm the uh, next week. I'm gonna move to Amtrak. You know. You know, choo choo train. <laughs> I was wondering when we were gonna get the actual uh, title drop for this particular call. You know, sometimes <laughs> I wonder <laughs> if all of the drug abuse I've done, all the the horrible like things I've put into my body. The, the amount of brain damage I have done to myself has been worth it. And then I mm -hmm. listen to people like this, and I know deep down, I killed that version of me with those drugs. And I am so fucking grateful. Well, speaking of killing, Matt, it's important there was a slaying, a murder that happened, and Mike feels that it's important for him to talk. You may notice the amount of time here. This is nine years ago. You can probably take a guess. Let's hear what Mike has to say in his tribute to Michael Brown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I got to do I'm so excited. Where is he? There we go. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Appropriate. Okay. Minute 55. If we need to pause or anything, just let me know. Three, two... <laughs> I haven't heard these, by the way, so I just wanted to give a heads up. I mean, how can you I, not laugh? Like, we've already, we've already sampled enough, right? We've already had the poo-poo platter, as it were. Yes. And now they are just throwing the Peking duck at us, and we are like, yes, we are ready. <laughs> how can we not? <laughs> okay. Did you Three. taste that poo-poo? Three, two, one, go. Hi, this is Mike from Tahoe. I have an important message to ask you guys to please, I don't have internet access, please tell everybody to have 
a whole thing across the United States of America, across the whole world, go into quick stops in the name of Michael Brown and steal cigars and just take them. I mean, across the whole country, make it a moratorium, go across and take cigars from every single quick stop across America, across the world. For, for you know, one day, whatever it takes. In the name of Michael Brown. That would be a great tribute to the poor guy that's six feet under. Just go steal cigars. That's how we Please. I'm serious. <laughs> Honest to God. Wait, hang on. Please have a moratorium for everybody going every quick stop across this country and take the cigars off the racks. I don't, I don't even like cigars, but, you know, <laughs> whatever. <coughs> Please do that. I don't have internet access to get this internet thing going. I want to net with the people in the world to do that. Please. Next week, everybody across the country, across the world, go into your quick stop and take the cigars. In the name of Michael Brown. Uh, a message of hope and unity from presidential candidate Michael. I, I can't remember. From Michael, vo- Michael voicemail. From yeah, Michael Vos voicemail from Tahoe, uh, who is historically the first candidate to get negative votes. Okay, this next one, there's a couple different meanings we could get from this, but it's time to get a little bit spiritual. This <laughs> one, is, I'm going to fast to God. You know who this guy is? He is the guy who the hard tart thinks he is. Oh, there we go. Just a lovable, endearing goof. Just like, you know, just... If somebody... D, I'm pretty sure I've talked to people at D.GG like this, and I've just been like, good on you, son. Okay, is everybody ready? Uh, sure. All That's right. one advantage of be get, getting older, is I can call people son now. I like it. <laughs> it's like, son, are you all right? I don't think it gets more. I, I, I honestly don't think that it gets more artistic than that. I just really like calling people son. Fuck I mean, you. I... We have heard what more autistic. Don't, <laughs> don't you try to fuck. I, I, I was brave. I was an astronaut. Lundy. I blasted the autism out of my brain with Freon and fucking modeling goo. Were there side effects? Yes. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. Yes, I discovered today I have the power of a man. Uh, well, of course, <laughs> I'll have to admit, I watched the Gandhi the movie last of night again. I have for the, the power of time. a man. <laughs> 12 seconds, babe, I wants to. I'm sorry. I discovered today that I have the power of a man. All right. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, I am assuming that this is supposed to be something really impressive. Uh, Careful, boys. <laughs> Man, man is out tonight. <laughs> oh no! He's a man with the power of a man. <laughs> not even, not even like the the, the, the cumulative strength of two men. Just a man. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, you're God. man, man. Does that mean you have the power of two man? Like, no. I just, I have the power of a man. Shouldn't you just be called a man then? Shut up. And then he just shoots him, and he's like, oh, <laughs> I can still use a gun, bitch. <laughs> I have the power of gun as well as a man. Okay, so we're going to go back 
to the beginning real quick just so we can get the full context going in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Three, two. I'm sorry, go. I have the power of the man. <laughs> God, I want to kiss this guy's forehead. <laughs> Kiss him and give him a big old hug. <laughs> Just encourage him. Yes. <laughs> Just be like, you keep going, man. Do you for as long as you possibly I will, can. I will pay for every fucking <laughs> minute on your Obama phone. <laughs> so you can just <laughs> keep hassling people with your beautiful nonsense. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one go. Yes, I discovered today I have the power of a man. Uh, well, of course, I'll have to admit, I watched the Gandhi movie last night again for the 10th <laughs> time. There's this woman I'm What's totally, this is girl I'm in, totally in love with. And I decided I'm going to fast. I mean, I can do it. I've done it all my life. I know how to do it. I can fast. I'm going to fast to God. I'm going to go fast. Until that girl is mine. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Start <laughs> oh, morning. okay. Well, at midnight. After tonight, I see what he's know, doing. I'm, I'm I see what he's tonight, saying. But, all right. And I have pea soup. But <laughs> after that... I'm going to fast until I get this girl, until she comes into my life. Or I'm just going to fast like Gandhi did. I'm going to just fast until Gandhi did, until that girl is mine. I mean, mine. M-I-N-E. Yes. Mine. Yes. Yes. Until she is is. yours. That's the way I feel. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. If I was a billionaire, I would literally hire a prostitute just to be with him. Twenty <laughs> just like I don't care how much it drains me of money. Pretty woman. Every time he needs his ba- his balls drained, you do it. Because it's like, look, this is the kind of autistic retard who should have a girlfriend, who should be breeding. Not a Christian, not a hard tard. This guy, he's harmless. He's got those fun retard genes. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> so I just want to make it clear here that he is not saying that he is going to fast to God. He is saying he is going to fax his brain thoughts to God. No, no, no. You know, he's going to fast while faxing. <laughs> yeah. he's, what he's saying is he's he's, he's going to fast to- like Gandhi. But to God, <laughs> he's going on a hunger strike until God gives the him problem food. with going faster than light is you're always <laughs> in darkness. He's he's doing a hunger strike until God gives him pussy, is literally what the, yes, the, the entire purpose. I love him he, again. He's not like Christian. I mean, he is technically harassing a person, but this this is more like if Christian was some kind of creepy pasta cryptid. <laughs> like you just you just constantly get harangued by the fucking one retard who's like, "I'm gonna I'm gonna email my brain to God while I don't eat anything, and that'll get me a girlfriend." <laughs> Okay, this next one's only 47 seconds, but I'm very excited with the title, uh, We Are People. We are. We are indeed, Mike. We are humans. (laughs) We are. We are. We are. (laughs) This is one he's he's doing at uh, midnight. (laughs) Yep. Midnight on a Wednesday. 1247 in the morning. 32. 1232, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so this is We Are People. Three, two, one, go. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Hands up. Don't shoot. I can't breathe. (laughs) You know, we are people. You know. (laughs) Matt. 
All right. this, Let's the, just the, register exactly what it is that he's doing right the, now. The, the, the sequel we did not know we were going to get. <laughs> Matt, but, go oh, ahead. God, I'm so happy we got it. Matt, go, ahead and, go ahead and hit it. <laughs> oh, which one? Oh, the... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back. We can welcome that one in with open arms. Okay, three, two, two, one, go. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Hands up. Don't shoot. I can't breathe. You know, we are people. <laughs> I am people. Are you people? We are people. We are fucking people. <laughs> Hands up. Don't shoot. I can't breathe. Hands up. Don't shoot. I can't breathe. We are people. <laughs> I can't believe the way we treat each other in this world. <laughs> I cannot believe the way we treat each other. You want a dollar, baby? Suck my dick. Yeah. I right. love the urgency in his voice. With that first, <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just back to his same monotone after. You can only get it in that one moment. It was long enough. I, I, I love you. him. I thought you were going to go crazy over you want a dollar, baby, suck my dick. Oh, why do you think I'm fucking... <laughs> made me laugh so hard I started coughing. <laughs> okay. I almost threw up there. So Mike doesn't... Mike doesn't have the internet. He said this earlier, right? Uh, yes. Well, as a result of that, he has another form of entertainment. He's going to talk in this one about it. This one's called, I've been watching way too much television. <laughs> See, this is what the cable guy would be like. Now, now this one has an additional message here. Uh, would one of you like to read this? That may be an understatement, Mike. The voicemail is very NSFW and disturbing. This is... <laughs> oh, we'll be the judge of that. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Oh, you know what I need to get? What? The da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Sebastian Bach. Okay. Let's see how let's see how kooky Mike gets in this one. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how Three. kooky he gets. Three, uh. two, one, go. Hi, it's Mike. Listen, I have to be honest with you. I'm watching way too much television. I've been watching these movies, and, you know, I think it would be awesome to be involved in a gang rape. <laughs> All right, let's pause. That let's pause. escalated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hands up. Who honestly expected that fucking left turn? I did not, and man, it is amazing that the preface to this was, was sweet boy. <laughs> We've been hyping him up. Oh, oh, we got milkshake donkey on this one. Still want to pay that prostitute to be with him? I don't think this, he wants this to is how the, This is how the episode started. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what it is now. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like that fucking... That old-ass horse cartoon of just like, Mike, you can't do gang rapes on people. <laughs> I thought he was gonna... I thought he was going to hit the, the curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, fuck. That would have been better. Now go ahead and hold on, hold on. We'll set it up here again for you, Matt. Let's go back to around 10 seconds. Should be it. Three, two, one, go. I think it would be awesome 
to be involved in a gang rape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, that's enough of that. Let's go. Let's go all the way back. I don't have the whole curb theme. I just have like the amount they put in the credits, but it's still like a. So. I don't know what to expect after that. It still has another 50 seconds after he utters that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's see how far down the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> Wait, guys. Here's... Okay. Look. I know maybe bad. But... Yeah. What, what if... What if he pulls it out in the end? What if he wants to be the rapist? <laughs> You know, I didn't expect this, and I wouldn't have expected that, so that's a possibility, maybe. What if he just wants a bunch of big, burly men to just handle him around and just put their goo on him? What if he wants to be their cheerleading squad? Yeah, what if he wants to be their sloppy slut just thrown on a fucking pinball machine? I'm just thinking of that fucking bit from American Dad. Roger's in the bar. He's like, just as a woman, he's like, any boys want any yeah, go? Don't, I won't accuse anyone. And Roger's <laughs> straddling the pinball machine. Uh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Everybody brace for what's coming. See, this is why the Lord told us not to have golden calves. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, three, two, one, go. I saw these movies with that girl in the pool hall. Remember that old movie that they threw on the pool table and everybody took turns? And then there, I just watched a stupid thing five minutes ago about it. Well, I need to pause real quick again because I have. Jesus Christ, Mike, I just sat down. Who starts a conversation? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> my takeaway is what the fuck kind of shows is he watching? <laughs> yeah, that's another is thing. He, yeah. Is he just watching like an all day marathon? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This, that, that's the easiest question to answer here. It's SVU. What you... 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I said that. Which is funny because I had this that conversation is... earlier. <laughs> that that... you is part of the reason this country is broken mentally. Like the, I love... <laughs> the fact that the the show literally about child rape and just regular rape was like the number one network work drama for twenty years straight. That fucks with a country. <laughs> I a just healthy, love how a health, a healthy country. <laughs> As in, like, hey, you know what we should do tonight as a family? Let's all sit around the television show and watch the show about fucking child rape. I just love the fact that Go had a punchline. Matt repeated the punchline as if he thought of it. And then just ran with it after Go was like, I already said that. He's like, I, by the way. <laughs> just fucking steamrolled. <laughs> Go just in the background. I, I, I made the funny and Matt's just like, no, let me tell you about <laughs> fucking society. Hey, I, got, I got a minute here, man. I'm on a roll right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, go, you know what I think about your role? Flap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in 15 seconds. Oh, we're having fun tonight. This is a yeah. good episode. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have so much more. Again, because like, this is the thing about the podcast. I don't give a shit about the fucking viewers. As long as we're <laughs> having fun. I mean, look at our last Finnegan's Wake episode where I, we, we just literally invented the character, like our new favorite character, at least mine. The guy who <laughs> listens to us exclusively because he actually wants to have an audiobook version of Finnegan's Wake. <laughs> that is a very fun character. I'm happy it that is, we made that. It is a brilliant character. And Greg goes to you, Lundy. Okay. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, go. I saw these movies with that girl in the pool hall. Remember that old movie? 
they, they threw on the pool table. Oh my god, it's literally. Everybody took turns. It's literally the accused. And then there, I just watched a stupid thing five minutes ago about this girl's gang rape. And I say, wait a minute. Am I sick in the head? Please. That would be fun. Okay, 36 seconds. Go ahead. I love how he just got done watching a rape movie. <laughs> and his, the, 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 the immediate neuron in his brain that fires off is, I should call that guy. <laughs> I'm, assuming, I'm assuming has never actually called back. <laughs> and I should tell him like hey, who do you think he thinks he's calling uh well, the guy think he's that he well you know what I was gonna say God but we know it's not God because he's, he's he's trying to get a fax machine up there he says he works at a station called KULP so maybe he thinks he's gonna get on the radio with this <laughs> just gonna be maybe, one of those one of those crazy he, calling guys maybe he thinks he's talking directly to the right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to Mr. FM right now like his mom threw out a radio like 20 years ago and he's just been calling this radio station thinking it's the radio by the way Matt I don't know if you caught that I think he said and then I saw a news report about a woman getting gang raped on Fox yeah I heard that too <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he went wait a minute let me call my friend Mr. Radio <laughs> this is like bloody, this is like that guy that I showed you from that uh, the zoophilia documentary where yeah. he was yeah, yeah how did I get involved with it well I was at my friend's farm, and he asked me to go brush the horse's tails. And I was brushing the horse's tail, and I looked at their back end, and something in my mind went, horse pussy, woman pussy. And that was about it. <laughs> the beginning you know, and end you know, of the thought process. You know what? I'll give that guy credit. He doesn't try to justify anything. He's just like... You know what? I just saw a horse's vagina and thought it looked enough like a woman's vagina. And, you know, there we Fuck go. it. Literally. Fuck it. <laughs> I, you know what? I know I usually complain about Ronald Reagan shutting down the man mental asylums, but this is like the reason we did it. It's so we'd have fun guys like this. <laughs> By the way, Matt, that horse guy uh, ended up dying from hepatitis he caught from getting a tattoo of uh his horse on his stomach that is hilarious and sad yeah he Mostly abandoned hilarious he abandoned his wife and children to fuck the horse i was about to, i thought you were gonna say he was he abandoned the horse and i was about to get way upset <laughs> You can't do that. <laughs> you can't abandon the horse. That is your wife, sir. It's like it's like, it's yeah, like when man, you find out you've destroyed all social credibility you will ever have in life. You don't like look. Fuck your wife. Fuck your kids. Like you've already chosen not to go not with literally. society's norm. I mean, maybe with this guy. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> those those fuckers might have dodged a bullet. He might have been like, God, imagine him fucking changing his kid's diaper and just being like, baby asshole. Woman asshole. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, they, they might have dodged some bullets here. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> you gotta leave most of this in. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't think you're gonna have much fat on this episode to trim goat. This episode is a fucking greyhound. It is just lean and just a, a perfect machine of. <laughs> okay, we're, we're at 36 seconds. Oh, fuck. Three, two, one, go. To gang rape, how do you do it? I mean, do you have like, go to computer school and, and learn how to gang rape? I don't know. But 
I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I think gang rape is sexually attractive. <laughs> <laughs> this is like hearing a, an actual cartoon character say this is like the first time I heard sexy in Adventure Time and I, I, it blew my mind like, wait they can say sexy now in cartoons <laughs> that's literally like listening to Porky Pig talk about it. it's like yeah and he be, 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 be. I like jerking off the d- 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 I'm live bitches. <laughs> now, what is the most reassuring thing you can hear after someone says he's in the gang rape? I um, should have said all that, and I thought about it a little more, and it was highly inappropriate what I said. I, doubt- I cut my dick off. Yeah, I, I, I joined Heaven's Gate. I know I'm a little late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I don't have a computer. God, this guy seems like the kind of guy who would have joined Heaven's Gate just to get computer access. Oh, I got no, cut off my dick to go on the internet. That's just how things are now in the computer age. <laughs> we used to do a group phone call. <laughs> They would do a conference call with me. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, the, the best thing to hear after someone says something like that is, I'm buying a houseboat. Say, <laughs> <laughs> raise, hey! Best thing to hear after somebody's mouth after they say that they want to participate in the game ring is, I'm buying a houseboat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why didn't we think of that? Uh, it's so obvious now. I mean, it kind of is. Like, a houseboat is probably, like... I mean, it's not the preferred living method of a, of a rapist. That would probably be, like, a trailer home. Like, something mobile. But, like, this is still mobile, but it's only on, like, a river. Or the ocean. I don't know. Okay. Like, I defy ahead. you to name a single person who's ever lived on a houseboat that's a stable human being. I've never known anyone in real who's lived in a houseboat. L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> That's that is not satisfying my criteria. Look, I uh, only went <coughs> on those cruises in the Mediterranean because I'm a big fan of snorkeling. Ninety percent of what happened on those Sea Org cruises was snorkeling. The other ten percent is what muddled everything. It was all L. Ron and those beautiful Greek boys. Okay, let's hear about. It's time to hear about the houseboat. Three, two, one, go. Hi, it's Mike. Listen, put put it on the airwaves. I'm buying a houseboat in Rio Vista, California, on the Delta. Gonna have a sweet life. We're gonna be fishing. We're gonna do anything. I'm looking for a lady that wants to join me on this venture. I'm a good man. I, I need a... I, I, my whole option is, uh, a reason is to have babies. I want to have babies on the Delta. I swear to God. <laughs> Did he have a laugh track in the background when he said that? Maybe. I, I think he had music in the background. Hang I on. heard like, I heard like a demonic <laughs> in the background at the end of that. That I was fucking weird. Good. You know what? I will give him this. <laughs> let's go let's go 34 seconds let's hear that one more time three two one go i swear to god <laughs> yeah, did you hear that i think that I'll was i'll be weird. honest it's more confusing now that we were because it's it sounds like a laugh track at the start but it sounds like music at maybe it's you know, maybe he was watching TV or something. It was like a sitcom going into commercial break or some shit. Uh oh, I don't know if anybody saw that or not. No, no I did not, and I don't like it, especially because of the game rape. Okay, everybody, ready? Hold your breath. I like looking at this between ga- the, ga- the gang rapes just nestled between. I want to buy a houseboat and 
hey everybody. No Black justice. Lives matter. No peace. Yeah. No justice. No peace. And then also in the house movement, he's like, I am a good man. I want Again, baby. After being like, you know what looks like fun? Gang rape. That looks like a lark. <laughs> Oh, looks like a bit a way to a, a good how do you do a way to introduce By yourself way, to a fine little lady. I was just kidding last time. The actual thing you want to hear from somebody who says something like that is there are cute girls in the mission district. Oh no. <laughs> Mike, no. Mike, come on now. No. Let's not be silly. Don't make me get out the fucking Mossberg or the Winchester. <laughs> I don't think Lundy heard the Winchester. Do you have the sound of a gun talking, Matt? No, but I need one. Okay. All right. Because let's, let's... the Winchester is the closest I got. It's shoot, then cock. Let's hear about the girls. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, hi, it's Mike. I just want to share my good news. I... Next month, I'm moving to San Francisco. I'm getting a place, going to work there part-time, and I'm going to take part-time classes at San Francisco State, become a zoologist. And I'm going to work for the San Francisco Zoo, because, you know, I love those animals. And and yeah. work. I'm going to work across the street from the AT&T Park at the restaurant, mm -hmm. and I'm going to sure. get a nice place in the heart of San Francisco. Maybe not Daly City, I, I hope not Daily City, but I think maybe in the heart of San Francisco, I'll get a nice place, go to work for the ballpark, go to work for the restaurant, and take part-time classes at SF State, and become a zoologist, and go to work for the San Francisco Zoo. I swear to God, I would be the happiest man in the world if those dreams come to me. Not only that, there are cute girls in the Mission District. I could, I could, uh, like on my days off, get flowers and walk down the street and look for a, a beautiful, cute girl in the mission. All right. Love you. Bye. Good night. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Bye. We love you too, son. <laughs> now let me put the pillow over your head. <laughs> yeah. Just listen to Ralphie. Okay. Are you guys ready? I don't know anymore. Again, after the gang rape, no. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it started to become an odd, mainly because an odd situation. Gang, mainly because the gang rape one was buried. <laughs> that was just I watched too much TV. I'd like well, to do a gang rape, <laughs> like just non sequiturs. Well, hold on, because this we were talking about continuations, and this is a continuation. This is Am I the Elephant Man Part 2. You know, I have a theory on this guy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if he's some kind of experiment? Where, <laughs> like, some, some fucking scientist put a computer in some a retard's brain, and this is just, like, every intrusive thought that he is having. Mm -hmm. He's just getting spammed with posts from poll. Like there's just some, some like and the guy's just getting this by accident. It's like a Russian number station, like some wires got crossed. Okay, is everybody ready for I am I the elephant man part two? Yes. Yeah. This is the same day, by the way. As the other one? Yes. Well the other elephant man one, I should say. No, 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 as the uh, the cute girls one. Gotcha. I think this so he is went, what... he tested himself. He found he he found himself lacking in the Riz department, and now he's bitching again. He's major cringe. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right, last call. It's Mike. I just want to get one thing off my mind. I'm sixty. I'm going to be sixty three next month. And oh. in all these years, all these years, I've never had a a girl, a woman, a lady, a female person give no, me a blowjob. I've never, 
after 63 years on this planet, I've never had a blowjob from a girl. <laughs> and I don't get it. Or from anybody. Well, you know, I, I don't want it from anybody else but a woman. But I don't understand. What's wrong with me? Am I the elephant man? No girl. I mean, my I girl. have my... It's beautiful. I love what I have between my legs. And no girl. Like, did you and some of the other younger boys experiment with inappropriate touching? Well, I paused at 54 seconds. We got nine left. Let's hear what he's got to say. Three, two, one, go. Ever given me a blowjob? I don't get it. Happy New Year, okay? <laughs> Okay, he brought it back around. <laughs> I was like, man, this one's depressing. He is polite. You cannot give him uh, anything less than that. Yeah. You know what, you know what this is? <laughs> He'd be the most polite been. gang rapist in the history of gang rapists. Okay, so this one's called The Word for Today is Temporal. Okay, why is it the word for today, I guess, would be my question. So I, suppose, uh, I hope we'll find out. It's the word of the day. Your your Pee Wee Herman needs some work. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh, I, uh, fuck. Well, <laughs> let me do my. I'm the soundboard guy. I don't got. I don't gotta have funny voices. I got technology. <laughs> this is crack. Hang on, I'm gonna do my impression. Shit, that was good. Are you ready? Yeah. This is my impression. Oh, I get it. It's because he's dead. It's a current day impression. It's gotcha. up. It's uh, up. It's updated. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> the goat. Goat. Yeah. You want to hear my Robin Williams? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> God damn. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, and, fuck. And you know what? I can also do a Heath Ledger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have. Can you hit me with a little Kurt Cobain real quick? No. There we go. Can't be, it's not that one because he definitely didn't pump it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because it was Courtney Love. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the official stance of the campaign podcast. This is a call to arms to Francis Bean. You know it to be true. <laughs> Look into your heart. Okay, let's find out why the word of the day is temporal. Three, two, one, go. Hi, it's Mike. The word for today is temporal. T-E-M-P-O-R-A-L. Temporal? It means that which has a beginning has an end. It's an event, like all of us. That which has a beginning has an end. That's temporal. And that's all of us. We're all in the temporal. So don't worry about it. If if things suck or if they're good, it's temporal. That which has a beginning also has an end. We are all temporal. T E M P O R A L something. Look it up on Google. But that's true. Love you. <laughs> bye bye. A L something. <laughs> you know what he is? He's the he's 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 the fucking negaman. He's, he's the, the what? what? He's the negaman. He's like the negative version of a man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where, like, Amendum is, like, this dried-up old man who has no hope left and is just bitter until the end. Like, this guy's, like, consummate optimist. Now, this next one, Matt, this one's a big one. This has 80,000 plays on it. It's called Trust Me, I'm Your Doctor. Oh, no. Oh, we have another warning here. This voicemail is highly inappropriate and disturbing. Listen at your own risk. 
Do we want to take any guesses as to how bad this is going to get? I'm going to go ahead and go with the gynecology route. Matt. It's so hard because, like, he escalated so fast with the gang rape. He didn't even go to regular. <laughs> I'm willing to throw it out there and say I'm guessing prostate exam. I'll be honest, I can't. I can't. He surprised me too much. I'm befuddled. <laughs> Let's find out. Managing to befuddle Matt. Quite the accomplishment, as we all know. Well, he is more uh, autistic than I am. <laughs> like, I don't know, like he's more a... autistic. More retarded, yeah. maybe. <laughs> oh, no, he is more autistic. Like, look, he's, he's like a T-Rex, and I'm like a Velociraptor. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm the kind of smart autist. Three, two, one, go. Hi, guys. It's Mike. Trust me. I'm your doctor. I decided I'm going to medical school. I'm going to Stanford Medical School, maybe Berkeley, finish it up. I want to be a doctor, not a dentist. I want to be a doctor. I want to take girls' shirts off, feel their their breasts. <laughs> See if they got anything in there, and then take off their pants, their panties, and trust me, I'm your doctor. I just want to look inside. I just want to look inside. Let Let's get her on anesthesia, and let me fuck her brains out for the rest of my life. Trust me, <laughs> I'm your doctor. Oh, God. God damn it, Mike. <laughs> I like he was. I like he was teasing it for a second. Of like, <laughs> you know what I do? Trust me, I would. Uh, yeah, I was really uh, yeah. You know what I do? <laughs> I would rape them. I would rape like them. A, <laughs> I, was like a, I was like a fucking gambling junkie, just watching a basketball just ring around the rim, just being like, "Please don't go in, please." Even though it is highly obvious that ball is going in that fucking hoop. It is just a formality it going around the rim and I'm like, nah, it, it, it's, nah, I might bump out. It might hit one of the little fucking studs or something. Please don't go in. Please don't well, go Matt, in. Matt, are you ready for a slam dunk? Oh, god damn it. I, you know what? This is why you can't... Was... This is why you can't what, Matt? This is why you can't have here. I'm gonna have to raise my elderly adult <laughs> retarded son now. You're gonna give him a show, and they did this shit. And think then of, you're like, well, think of a bad non-rape uh, sentence that Mike could say. Well, we know he's Some... not racist. I'm gonna say he threatened to kill the president of the United States. Blondie. Um, because we're in 2016 by this point. He's already advocated to like do like a mass thieving event, more or less, of cigars and shit. So you know, maybe maybe something along those lines. Those are both good guesses, but the actual answer is beheading is not a bad thing, but you need to preserve the blood. <laughs> okay, I'm not guessing anymore, goat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This Uh-oh. is uh, this is not something game. I would have guessed. Yeah, this is a bad game. I'm... <laughs> boo. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have a boo on the soundboard yet. <laughs> Eventually, we will. Yeah, you will be getting it. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to get so many boos. Well, you don't... Hey, you don't know. Mike might turn it around again. <laughs> I'm just going to no, go thanks. ahead and guess that he won't. Three, two, one, go. Okay, last call. It's Mike. I've been thinking about it. There's nothing wrong with beheading people. I mean, the people over there, the people over here, whatever. Beheading. The only bad thing about beheading, they need to preserve... The blood. I mean, it's nutritious. The blood is good. 
there's nothing wrong with beheading people. In fact, I have dreams. When I go to sleep at night, all I think about is beheading. That's all I think about. <laughs> oh, pause, 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 pause. Yeah, okay, I gotta say, this is a big, dumb fucking web, because... Earlier, I was like, you know what, it's, it's actually good Ronald Reagan to shut down the mental asylums because we have beautiful people like Mike roaming the streets <laughs> free. And now I'm like... I go to bed thinking about beheading people. It's like, no, I was fooled. I, I, I was... <laughs> I'm back on my fucking... Nah, we need these it's just the cheerful way that he says it, too. <laughs> You're the guy who would get Kaiser Soze, Matt. I would, 100%. I would be... And... Not even, like, the actual detective. I would just be like, oh, he's a delightful, retarded person. Let him go. Why is he still here? Fuck off. Okay, is everybody ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. 40 seconds. Three, two, one, go. I don't think about wet dreams or nothing. I used to, but I don't anymore. All I think about is beheading. And I go, wait a minute. Somebody's doing it right. Beheading <laughs> is not a bad thing. But you need to preserve the blood, put it in to freeze it, you know. It's nutritious. Use it on your meat or whatever. Because there's nothing in the world wrong with beheading people. In fact, I think I could do it. I think if I had a chance with a, a sharp sword, I could behead people. I could rape people. Well, not guys, just girls. I could rape girls and behead their men. I think that's what I could do, is like rape the women and behead the men. God, what a nice poem. I love it. And that's all I dream about is beheading people and raping their women. Hold on, hold on. This is where can I go to do that shit without getting arrested? <laughs> so, like this entire episode, it has been a psychological thriller for us, where. <laughs> We find a guy and he's just like, Hey, I you I tried to kiss my cousin when we were kids Thanksgiving and we're all sitting here like, Look at this fucking idiot and then slowly bit by bit bit by bit the psychosis starts to sink in. And as we're listening to him say, I go to bed thinking about beheading people, raping women and beheading their men. Where can I go to do that? And then, like, Goat scrolls up and <laughs> says, hey, Goat Pen. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm actually in the reverse of that, London, right now. I'm more yeah. like, tell me again, Mike, about how you want to behead people. <laughs> and then, <laughs> just mice of men. <laughs> okay, so we've been. This would make an amazing movie because it'd be one of those fucking movies that people would argue about. Like, it's saying that we need to kill the mentally ill. <laughs> I think that they made this movie. I think it was <laughs> talked about Evangelion. <laughs> How dare you not acknowledge the cinematic masterpiece that is I Am Sam? Look, I Am Sam was mostly harmless. He was breeding, which... <laughs> this, is, this is what Forrest Gump would have been. If he you was know what, I'm sorry I said that. I've been hating Europeans too much in D.GG, so their hatred of the mentally retarded has kind of smeared on me a bit. <laughs> Sam should have had more kids. Okay, so we've been here for a while, mm -hmm. so I think I can stop doing the, the guessing game. So we're just going to scroll up, and uh, I want you guys, as soon as you see one that catches your eye, I want you to uh, tell me which one you want to hear. 
Okay, you guys ready? All right. Let's take a look here. Bum, 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 I'm bum, not a player. Our hands reach to the sky. Coal and oil. Let's have a Donner party. <laughs> it's a wake up call for all of us. Put your money on it. Remember? It looks like a bell. That one's three minutes. <laughs> I'm not saying we're better than dinosaurs. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't have an answer. Cooking with Mike. <coughs> yeah, sure, I, I want to hear the dinosaur one. That's triggering my autism. Well, did you have a favorite from what you've been listening? I, 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 I would love, I would love to hear about the dinosaurs. Okay. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, go. Hi, it's Mike again. Listen, in within the next eight years, an asteroid the size of our entire galaxy is going to hit planet Earth. And I'm not saying... We're better. Human beings are not better than the dinosaurs, but we're all going down. All of us. All of us. And then we're going to figure out what the hell happened here. That's it. That's, no, that's my message to today. I'm not saying we're better than dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, I mean, they were like plant animals and... And look at us. I'm saying in the next eight years, an asteroid the size of our galaxy By the way, that would be is going to put us all out. Date of this yeah. recording. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's not a threat. It's not, it's not anything. It's just a premonition that I know is going to happen. Love you. Bye. Oh, you can tell he's feeling some virus remorse with the beheaded video with this one, where he's like, look, this isn't a threat. I'm just stating facts. We're all going to die because of the space rock. <laughs> you can't tell me I'm wrong, okay? You're, You're just not allowed. Again. Not because I'm, I'm not wrong. You're just not allowed to tell me I'm wrong because I'm retarded. <laughs> Instead of picking and poking, we can just call this episode here and then pick up with a part two another day. We can. So we left off. We'll leave off here. At, I leave right. off there. Oh, I'm going to count real quick just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 25, 30, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 more to go. Goddamn. Great. There's a lot of meat on this bone. We also skipped over a couple that we can go back to. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys think of Mike so far? I'm enjoying Mike. I'm enjoying how fucking insane this is. Yeah, this took so It went from, oh, he's such a silly boy, <coughs> to, um, I wonder if we can find him on the FBI National Database. Is there anything you're looking forward to in the future? <laughs> it's, it's just, there's going to be like a fucking Saw video that he makes where he's just like, psh, psh. Hey guys, it's Mike here. You didn't pay attention to my voicemails. I thought I would hear myself on the radio at some point, but apparently I couldn't get your attention. <laughs> what well, you did hear, he made a reference to that earlier, right? Uh, what do you mean? He at one point during the one of the voice messages, he said, <laughs> "Do you want to play a game?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do remember I'm saying that. that. He is just while well, he he. I can't. I. He's fucked me. 
He's actually blown my brain. <laughs> this guy is too retarded even for me. <laughs> <laughs>